Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Uh, if you haven't already, if, um, please subscribe if you do feel so inclined. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I'm really excited to get there. Um, everybody who's already my subscriber and viewer, thank you so, so much. I just always want you to know with every single reading that you want watch that I am very grateful uh, that you've joined me here on my channel and that you uh, receive clarity. Thank you for all the beautiful comments about the, the way you resonate uh, with my readings here. And I just want everyone to know how truly grateful I am for all of your beautiful energy, all of your love. Um, for those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action adventure love story on superhero twin flames. I'm a twin flame myself, and it's based on my life and my twin flame's life. Uh, it's called Perception, the Two Yet One, book one. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is my character, Luna, and this is my character, Sunshine. But call him Sunny. <laughs> um, this is the back. This, is, uh, this first book is about how they grow up. Uh, I just finished reading this um, book out loud live on Facebook, and I've uploaded all of those videos here for you here on YouTube to enjoy. If you have already read and or watched the videos, fear not, for book two is already written and published. You can purchase these books from Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, the shipping is free. Um, so these are very beautiful, very well-made books. I love how uh, clear the um, the illustrations uh, of my wonderful artist, Noel Ventura, how they come out. They're just so, so beautiful. Um, like I said, this, is, this first one is where uh, they grow up, and this second one is where things really start getting going. So I am working on the third. Um, however, um, it's taken me a while. Um, all right, so... For those of you who have been around since last week at least, you'll know that this month, which is here in the U.S., uh, February 14th, this is the month of February, uh, the 14th is Valentine's Day where we celebrate love, and uh, Isis gave me this idea that for this whole month we'll be dedicated to love, and uh, for each week the messages should come from a uh, goddess of love. Last week uh, was Isis's week. We began with Isis. And this week we have Venus Aphrodite. Okay, she, everyone knows that she's the goddess of love. Here um, we have this depiction of her from the goddess deck that I have. She's very beautiful with this lovely uh, dove of peace next to her. I put this shell next to her like that. You always see her coming out of a shell. And uh, then from the Keepers of the Light deck, I have uh, this card of Lady Venus. Now, she's not exactly the same as, say, um, Venus, goddess. Uh, now, in uh, Greek, she's called Aphrodite. In the Roman um, pantheon, the same goddess was called Venus. This, however, is Lady Venus. So she's a, a bit different. She, um, she is the twin flame of uh, Sanat Kumara, who is the, uh, the lord or regent of uh, earth. And he lives inside the earth in a beautiful place called Shambhala. She lives um, in the astral realm of Venus, the planet Venus. And um, she's standing here. Uh, she'll be standing in today for goddess Venus. Also, uh, because the, um, the gods and goddesses of the, those pantheons are basically based on our planets. Okay, so this is also the planet Venus, goddess of love. Thank you, Lady Venus, for, for standing in here for um, Venus, goddess of love. Okay, so as a reader, I um, read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will, and I read ma uh, major arcana cards as messages um, about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you, your higher self, created for yourself uh, before you incarnated, okay? And what you did is you, 
you created this plan where you would encounter uh, certain life lessons that if learned will raise the vibration of your soul so that the next lifetime uh, you have a higher life path number and uh, therefore you go getting closer and closer to uh, having a life or lives of enlightenment where you reach enlightenment okay everybody's always like why is God doing this to me and it's like it's not it's not God it's uh, you wrote this plan yourself so <laughs> okay um, now Gemini uh, at the heart of everything we have the devil in reverse and I always love to see the devil in reverse uh, this is no bueno uh, this is bueno okay this is when you throw off shackles releasing yourself uh, to uh, these these toxic energies that come with this um, this is having the strength to overcome things like substance abuse uh, slavery uh, release yourself from being bound from something that's toxic. This is uh, the, the light at the end of the tunnel and having freedom. This is the end of things like stagnation and, and, and pettiness and, and all kinds of toxic crap that you don't want to deal with. Okay, so this is beautiful. So you, I, I'm just going to say you're throwing off the shackles of toxicity. Um, so obviously you've been dealing with some toxicity and and you've got the strength to say oh forget this and you're throwing these shackles up off good job Gemini um, before I go further in order for me to not forget here I just want to point out that you don't have any swords in this reading swords is air energy which is your energy along with Libra and Aquarius so um, there's a lack of using your logic or your intellect here or um, you're just operating more from a, another see we've got cups here so you might be operating more from your emotions um, anyway that's something for you to think about you're not really in your own energy uh, this week or at this time that you see this reading because my readings are timeless okay so um, the energy that is affecting this here is the uh, coming from actually this is what i feel like you're throwing off your shackles and you're going to take a leap of faith okay something was holding you back you've had something that was shackling you and, you, and now you're just like oh oh screw this i'm going to do this i i've got faith i'm going to take a leap of faith okay this is uh getting enthusiastic about something okay um but also um there is an, uh, an element to this card where emotions may rule the mind, okay? So this may be what's going on with this no swords here, okay? Because that, that part of this card just came to mind, well, you know, and, and I saw swords in my head. So that's why you, your emotions might be ruling your head um, when... You know, this is an emotional energy. You, you've been dealing with toxicity, and finally you stand up and throw them off. That's pretty emotional, okay? So that's kind of got a momentum that um, that you got to watch out for, okay? Don't like say you throw off your shackles and start running, and then you run off of this cliff. That's not good. That yeah, you are free. You're free of a lot more now. Uh, you know what I mean? So just kind of be careful. Um, don't let your emotions rule your mind. Try to get your logic back, okay? Remind yourself that you, uh, you are air energy, which is logic and intellect, and watch your words, okay? Now, the, the base of this is you're, you're getting rid of these. This is the root of everything. You're tired, okay? This is getting rid of uh, things that, like, if you bit off more than, this is you biting off more than you can chew, okay? This is oppression where you've got too much on your plate. This is you throwing some of those things off your plate. This is you throwing off shackles. Getting rid of, of obligations and responsibilities that are just dragging you down, Okay? And, and affording you uh, some time to relax. Tens are endings, okay? So these two are really 
talking to me. You're, you're just getting rid of these things that have been holding you back. You're just like, F this. Good job, Gemini. All right, so the energy that's moving out of your life at this time is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is being frustrated with a new venture. This is also loss of money, okay? So um, this is also um, in other decks, in the weight deck, this is, they call it the evil side of wealth. Uh, and negative intelligence? I, I don't know. I am. Um, that's just what it says in the weight. So I, you know what I feel like this is mostly? This is the frustration. You know, there was something new that you were trying and it's come to an end. You were passionate about it, but it came to an end. So this new beginning, which was just frustrating you, which was probably this, uh, this devil energy. You didn't realize it was going to turn out to be that, huh? You're just saying, oh, screw that. So that's moving out of your life too. Wow. Good job, Gemini. Now for me as a reader, the next two cards are uh, future cards and holy crap. Uh, these are great. I, I start here. This is the Empress. She is abundance. She is fertility. She is beauty. She is everything. You know what I tell people about her? She's everything that is Venus. Everything that is Aphrodite. She is the feminine. Her symbol is the same as Venus, the circle with the cross beneath it. The same symbol for female. So right now, I feel like this is the goddess of love. This is Aphrodite. This is Venus right now in this beautiful red gown. Red is the color of the mother, the root chakra. Okay. So there is some beautiful fertility, abundance. Somebody could be getting pregnant. This is love. This is joy, generosity. Pardon me. Um, this is beautiful, beautiful, and it's coupled with, oh my God, the two of cups. New love. Now, for some of you, this could be, you know, a business partnership, but this is the type of relationship or partnership that can move mountains. This is the love card. This, this. The, the major arcana card is the lovers, which is you. Okay. And I feel like, um, Venus Aphrodite used this card so that you wouldn't be confused. If you, if I had the lovers right here, I might say, well, that's your energy, Gemini. So it could be at another Gemini's entering your life, or it could be that you have a choice and those things that the, that the lovers mean. But no, she chose the two of cups to make it very clear that this isn't a choice. This is love. This is a love relationship. Gosh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The, I, I'm hearing this is the reward you get for denying the devil. Okay, because you're denying the devil. You're denying being treated like shit anymore. You see what I'm saying? Every part of us, every, every one of us, okay? Every one of us is a part of the divine. And when we allow people and things to, to treat us like shit, we're allowing a part of the divine to be treated that way, aren't we? So, when we throw off these shackles, when we say, I've had enough, then what you're doing is you're standing up for the divine, not just yourself. You are divine. And that type of respect that you give yourself, you give to the divine, and so the divine gives to you. This abundance, this beauty, this pregnancy, this love that is coming into your life, is a part of your divine blueprint. Ooh. 
leap of faith. I think that you can trust in this. Just make sure that you are not only working from emotion when it comes to your thoughts, okay? Bring these swords back in here. Make sure that you're doing things um, intelligently with logic and... Okay, all right, all right. Getting ahead of myself, but here, let's, let's, this is your uh, hope card, okay? The Hanged Man. Now, the Hanged Man, uh, oh, life in suspension, I just heard, which is um, a definition from my very, very first deck, the one before the Thoth deck. Um, but he is in reverse. So this is the end uh, to stagnation, okay? This is, you know, you hanging around, waiting for you to gain this enlightenment. This is you having gained the enlightenment. This is the uh, stationary period being over. And now you're ready to take action. You've got the new perspective. Now it's time to go. This is a beautiful hope card. Okay? And this is a major arcana card. So good, good job, Gemini. All right, so here is uh, your state of being, okay? This is the King of Cups, okay? Yesterday, when he came up in someone else's reading, um, I felt like he was the king of their heart. He's in reverse, though. So what this is isn't very bueno here. He, he's uh, possessive. He's jealous. A need to be more secure, uh, positive about the future. Um, take things in moderation. This is a... Dishonest, double-dealing type masculine. This is injustice. This is things like vice and scandal. And so this male energy right here is, uh, it's not so good. Okay. So this could be someone in your life. Okay. This could be a masculine energy in your life that is the one who has been uh, this, this devil energy. Okay, this, this is very much um, distorted masculine energy. This would have been clearer if this had been the emperor in reverse, perhaps. But what I'm thinking is that this could be a water sign. Okay, this masculine energy could be a water sign, which is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, but he, he's... This is the, this is where all the toxicity has come from. He's, uh, see, but if he had been shown as the emperor in reverse, then I would have said, oh, you've got this divine couple here because you've got the empress and now you've got the emperor, even though he's in reverse, blah, blah, blah. So again, Venus is showing you, I know who you're talking about, Gemini. Okay, this this masculine energy in your life, which, you know, either they're a water sign or they're in love with you, okay? Uh, they've been like this for you, and you're just like, ugh, screw it. Now, of course, if this is your energy, then this is the energy that you are, uh, actually, no, this is not your energy. That did not feel right when I said this. This is not your energy. This is someone in your life the source of all that um, toxicity. All right, now, the last two cards are sevens, okay? So what I would tell you right now is to go ahead, uh, either pause this video or do it afterwards, but I'll look up angel number 77. That has uh, another message for you. Don't overwhelm yourself by looking at all of them. Just look at the ones that you're truly attracted to and because uh, that is your message at this time, okay? Now, this is your fear card. Now, this is, um, when this is right side up, this is tending your garden type energy, okay? But when this is in reverse, this is, you know, unexpected expenses, uh, a need to be conscious of your security, conscious of your monetary transaction, anxiety over money. Okay, so this is, um, this is your fear card. 
This doesn't mean that this is coming in. This is just what you fear. Aphrodite wants you to know that this is, she knows what you're afraid of, and she's telling you. Now, this is your potential outcome, and I say potential because uh, we have free will. Free will uh, can change anything. Nothing's set in stone. And, uh, and you, this is the card of confusion. Uh, options. Some of you, you've got a lot of options, but I'm thinking for most of you, this is confusion. Okay? And this card cracks me up. Because look at his face. Put my focus up there. There we go. Look at his face. He's like, what? <laughs> it just is funny. Um, to me, he looks like a really confused Saruman uh, from Lord of the Rings. But look at this card, okay? So they were showing me, look, at you've got the alicorn here, which is kind of, this is part of the theme. I'm using the Oracle of the Unicorns at the end um, because the Pegasus and the Unicorn, mostly Pegasus, Pegasus is um, a big part of uh, the Greek stories, the Greek and Roman stories of the, uh, the gods and goddesses. And then I'm also using this goddess guidance deck, which is where this beautiful card of Aphrodite came from. So anyway, so I see this lovely alicorn here. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. And then there's the devil. Mm. Okay. And, and then, you know, I mean, look at what he's got. He's got magic or something coming out of this cup. He's got a sword. What is, is that truth or is that sharp words? Uh, here's a dragon. Are they going to be the wise kind or are they going to bite your head off? Uh, here's this little pan-like looking guy. Is he pan or is he the devil? Uh, then we've got this beautiful uh, alicorn going on here. Are, are they going to help you or are they going to fly away? Um, you've got, you know, a couple of discs up here. Is this going to be money or is it going to be taking your money? You know, it, here's this beautiful uh, dolphin. Does that mean that you've got a, a connection to Atlantis or are, are you going to be drowning in your emotions? You know, it's that type of deal. You really, you might have a lot of options, especially because what you've got here is uh, your fear card is a seven as well. And even though these are just your fears, there's something to do with seven. Okay. So it could be that there's seven options for you to make money or, you know, something to that effect. Okay. This is cups, so this is love and emotion. You could have uh, seven options when it comes to who this could be. See what I'm saying? Maybe you're on several, seven uh, social media apps or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I think that um, you're going to be confused for a minute. But then... There's going to be this divine love. This one will happen first. And then the empress, the... Unless this is you becoming completely independent. Because the empress is also like that. She may have an emperor, but she didn't get there uh, just following somebody. She started uh, being independent as the nine of discs. She wasn't even a queen at that point. Okay, and then she moved up to be a queen, possibly first a knight and then a queen. Oh, yeah, I said that she could have been a knight. Then she went to be a queen and then she became all the queens. And now she's the empress. You don't get there by not being independent. So now the energy at the bottom of the deck, uh, we have more of this passionate wand energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is quick movement forward. This can also, this, you know what's weird about this is that I really, really shuffled. Man, did I shuffle these cards a little bit extra, she told me. And I shuffled these even a little bit extra and he still ended up on the bottom. For Libra's reading that I just did, this guy ended up on the bottom of the deck. So you got the exact same thing. So I don't know if you were connected to a Libra somehow, and, and maybe somehow this same guy, the same night energy is going to come into your life, but you may be moving, okay? Uh, you may be dealing with a player. 
Okay, this is player energy. Uh, or um, you could be moving quickly forward, very passionate about something, okay? This also means, oh, pardon me. This also means travel, being strong-minded, being a non-conformist, okay? Move, yeah, movement and travel. This is a movement card. So you might be um, traveling. You could be changing your residence. Um, but definitely being strong-minded and non-conformist because we have what I was just saying about the Empress. Is that how she, that's how she is. She began being strong-minded, strong-willed. And that's how she got where she is. Okay. Whew. I just love these shells. They look like unicorn horns. I just love nature, how perfect and beautiful nature can make things. All right. So let's ask the Oracle of the unicorns. Uh, what's up? Uh, if there is anything else that Aphrodite Venus would like to tell Gemini. I'm going to do this a couple more times. Extra. would you like to tell Gemini? Goddess of love and beauty. Okay. Okay. That one seemed to want come out and then changed its mind. Let's go one more time. Well, all right. All right, that's what we got. We'll do the goddess guidance after I do these. Let's see what they have to say. Ooh, this one's pretty. Oh, past lives. Now, release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. Okay, I have a feeling that this has to do with this guy. Okay, this, this uh, distorted masculine energy which brought this devil energy into your life. Okay, now the devil is a major arcana card. And so um, I have a feeling that that is the energy that we're dealing with here. Okay, this has to do with a past life. This person that brought all this toxicity into your life. Um, what you're meant to do is what you're doing. Releasing your life from these people. And taking a leap of faith and moving on and becoming this independent empress energy. I don't do gender on my channel, okay? So don't be offended if you're a man and you're like, I'm not going to be no empress. No, this is just energy. This is the energy of abundance and beauty and strong-mindedness. You do not have to be predominantly feminine in energy, okay? But, um, and like I'm saying, that this this king of cups uh, can also be a woman. It, it, it just... It's just energy. We're not dealing with gender here, okay? Wow. And so, you know, this is the, for Libra that I just did, it was the goddess deck that gave me Isis for her. And that Isis's card for this goddess deck is the past life card. So you've got the same message of past life. So that's two things that have crossed over into your readings, Gemini, that have something to do with justice, with uh, Libra. In fact, the Empress is both Libra and Taurus. 
because uh, Libra and Taurus are ruled by Venus, the planet Venus. This is Venus. <gasps> okay, so she's basically told me that this week while I'm doing readings through her, the Empress card is her. I think it's her all the time. Okay, awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Okay, so I have a feeling with that what this means is this is going to help you with this confusion. Okay, you might be uh, thinking a little bit too much about your choices. Even though you don't really have any swords here to be talking about overthinking, This just feels very much like the fool energy. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts and look for signs and guidance. I think that's how the fool, this is it's just feeling very much like the fool energy. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Miracles. <gasps> Gemini. Miracles have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your miracle is on its way. Surrender the how. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. And the next one. Gosh, I love this card. Oh, I love this card. Innocence. Take time to play. Nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. Once again, I am getting a lot of feelings from this fool. This is the same type of energy. I mean, look at his little unicorn. It, it's the same little unicorn next to her mama. Look at that, they're so cute. This little baby unicorn. Oh, I'm talking the kind of... <laughs> That's how I talk to my dog. She's a shishu. Okay, those are beautiful. Let's see if there's anything else. The goddess of love, Aphrodite Venus, would like to say to Gemini. Is there anything else that you would like to relate to Gemini Venus? Beautiful planet, beautiful goddess of love. Oh, she's reminding me of something I said yesterday with this card. She's telling you to go outside at nighttime and look up at the sky if it's clear. Yesterday, she, we got this card too. And she said, look at the moon. The moon represents the feminine, but also look for me, she said, because she's the brightest star in the sky. That's why she's the, the star of beauty. She goes, look at how small I look. And then remember how small you are. And that's not, that's not like, oh, you're just insignificant. What she means is, is that you are a part of this beautiful grand system. You are just as important as she is because she's talking to you right now. And when you look at her in the sky, she seems very small, but she's not, is she? She's very big. And she's very powerful, and that's you too. But what the, the biggest message is, when you look up at the sky and the stars, just remind yourself not to take life so seriously. Okay? Stay in this, this energy of uh, looking at life like a child. Children are always so curious and, and so happy to... To learn new things and experience life and they don't stop being that way until after they're teenagers you know because teenagers they go on to to really explore and you know what that's his energy as well exploring life with the energy of a teenager just remembered that. All right. Is there anything else you would like to tell Gemini 
goddess of beauty and love and joy and abundance. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Anybody else want to come out? Okay, thank you. All right. Last night, I was receiving messages from Bastet. And I did some research on her, and it turns out that she started as Sekhmet. Sekhmet is a beautiful lion-headed goddess of Egypt. Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Yeah, that, that has everything to do with this empress energy, okay? This is your empress energy, Sekhmet says. Now, uh, butterfly maiden, transformation. Gosh, that's beautiful, isn't it? You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. That's exactly what I said. That's exact. Okay, calm down, Allison. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what I said. Because you are treating yourself as the divine should be treated by getting rid of this toxicity, you are being blessed by the universe for your faith in it, for your for uh, the way you treat it, the way you look at it with this, with this childlike uh, attitude. Oh, beautiful. Um, oh, peace. Oh, that's lovely. There is no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. I love getting this card. It does fill me, fill me with so much peace. Understand, everything is working out beautifully. There's no need to worry. Irene, Freya, bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. Yep, there's more of that, uh, that Sekhmet Empress energy, you know, be bold, be daring, live life, uh, you know, you, you don't see kids second-guessing themselves, you know, when you live in that type of energy, if they see a fence, they go, you know what, and they start running, and then they jump that fence, of course, when we're older, we see a fence and uh, we know not to go running and jumping over that because we might not make it. <laughs> but it's that type of energy that, uh, oh, look at the colors. These are both like kind of like golden browns, while these two down here are these lovely pale periwinkle cornflower blue. So that's truth, okay? And this is being grounded. Uh, but being strong. And then, oh, wow, you have this beautiful purple for your top chakras. Cycles and rhythms from Maeve. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Right. Okay, so you're human. You go through emotions. You get angry. You get hurt. Okay? And sometimes you make mistakes. But you, you have to say to yourself, but I'm human. Okay? Don't get angry at yourself. All right? Don't get uh, judgmental with yourself. That's what it means by honoring the cycle of your body, the cycles of your body, uh, honoring your energy levels, honoring your emotions. Because like I said, you are a part of the divine. Okay? And so if you treat yourself that way, the universe is going to continue to bless you. Be compassionate with yourself, not just others. Okay? Holy moly, what a reading! I'm excited for you, Gemini. Um, let's see how much control you have over this. Um, I gauge that by the number of major arcana to minor. And you, you've got one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. So four out of ten cards means that almost half of this is your divine blueprint. Almost half of this has to do with a past life here. This is a big part of um, dealing with this past life and dealing with treating yourself better. Treating yourself as if you know that you're part of the divine. Okay? And then everything will get better once you uh, treat yourself better. And beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thanks for watching. See you next time.